This is an affordable and portable soft box which comes with this S type flash bracket that lets you fit these speed lights. But today we are going to mount it on this light which uses the most popular bounce mount and we are going to do it properly by designing and 3D printing an adapter for it. So let's make things. bring the idea to life we have to use some computer aided 3d modeling tool so we are going to use freecad for that which is a parametric 3d cad modeler for precise mechanical designs in principle it is similar to solidworks which is an industry standard the version i'm using is quite old 0.16 i haven't updated it yet because it just gets the job done. I have managed to make some complex designs with it, which I'm going to show and discuss in some future videos. Start FreeCAD. First, we need to get dimensions. You can either search for bones bone specs. Or pick up the caliper and do it yourself. So let's switch to the part design workbench. Create a new sketch on the XZ plane and start sketching with the polyline tool. Next, I'm gonna add some constraints and speed it up. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. Close the panel, click the revolve tool and voila, it's starting to make sense now, right? Next we need to make these three locking plugs. Select this face and make a sketch here. Add a pad, but in reverse direction. At this point, you can just print it if you want. But I would like to do some finessing, you know, some polishing. So I'm gonna perform a couple of optional steps. I'm gonna get rid of these blunt edges by selecting and adding a fillet. and then a relatively bigger fillet on these edges just to make these important sections more sturdy. And finally, I'm gonna add some cutouts in order to reduce filament cost and print time. Select this face and make a new sketch here. Just roughly add a slot. And then add a pocket through all. Then use the polar pattern trick, this time with occurrences value of 8. Now the modeling part is all done. Export the file in STL mesh format for slicing purpose. Let's name it bounceadapter.stl. Now what is slicing? The 3D printer requires a list of commands to operate, which is known as the G code. So we use a slicing software for that. I prefer to use Cura, which just like FreeCAD is an open source and multi-platform supported slicer. So fire it up. Bring in the STL file. 
Now, I almost always use ABS plastic for material, but here I'm gonna dial in settings for the PLA plastic instead. Just because it is easy to print and ideal for demonstration purpose, let's keep the print quality to the minimum just to save on print time and filament costs. Now I'm gonna save the file as G code. Let's name it Bowman's Adapter G code. Then let's open the 3D printer web interface. Load the G code file. And just trigger it. Works like a charm. I have been using it in my some of my previous videos. Here, here, here. Remember, do not use PLA. I use PLA just for demonstration purpose because it is easy to print. It would not be able to withstand the temperature, the heat generated by that heat sink, depending on the light. But that 100 watt light that I was using. I could s smell the plastic burning within 5 minutes. So use ABS or PETG, PETG or any material that can withstand high temperatures. I have uploaded that STL file and also the source file .fcstd or something on my Thingiverse page. Link in description below.